So we've got to paint these frames and uh, undercoat to get some undercoat on there. Any prior enamel or whatever on frames, you really need sand it down, gap, um, putty up any holes, and get a, uh, a good undercoat on the base. I use Dorman's 3 in 1, massive. Solve a, solve a PSU, any Primacy Lander coat is for the good, good brands. They aren't cheap, but it's not a cheap undercoat. The Dorman's 3 in 1 actually sticks straight onto enamel without even sanding, so old enamel doors, whatever, I always use that. Old Queenslander weatherboards, chamfer boards inside and out, you don't know what's on the lead paint or whatever underneath so unless you're stripping it right back to to bare wood which is a restoration not a repaint. A repaint you remove all the loose flaky paint via a water blaster and via the sander. I never grind into the uh, weatherboards, the chamfer boards on the outside because it has a shoulder that ends up with grind marks in and I reckon that devalues your house. If somebody wanted to strip it right back to bare wood at some stage they're going to have a problem because the chamfer boards will have marks in it. So, so here we go, three in one. Notice that line I put in there against the window on the aluminium with no gaps. It gives me a straight line to work with. And it looks a lot better than a gap in between your wood and your aluminium, so I always try and do that. So I've already got one coat on the wall, so get this undercoat in before the second coat so if you get any paint on your uh, wall you can cover it up. Cutting an enamel for the windows, same scenario, you pull the enamel actually and it's got, the enamel's got to flow, this is oil based enamel um, which takes 24 hours to dry. Uh, you can use a water based enamel which dries a lot faster, allows you to put all your coats on there pretty quickly. But the oil based you put a coat on and um, you leave it 24 hours or overnight, give it a light scuff the next day and put some more on. Or really get a good undercoat on so it's not see-through and, uh, and then you can put one coat of enamel on normally, which is what I'm doing here. And you'll notice when I'm doing the frames here, I've run a line down there which is a straight line between the um, aluminium and the wood, which allows me to run a, a straight line with my undercoat and a straight line with my enamel, and it looks really nice.
thing you got to watch with this edge here is that you don't get any overlaps happening of the paint because they tend to come down and drip on the other side. You're supposed to check that and just um, run a cloth along it and pick that up. The oil burst enamel. You've got to have a little bit of taps in it just so it runs smoother. If it starts pulling too hard, that means you haven't got enough taps in it. It needs to thin out a little bit, not too much, so that it drips too much, but just enough so it flies good. <laughs> 